Alright guys, so here's my gaming setup. I'm building my PC right now. I'll uh, probably do a... Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna do a time lapse of me building my computer and show you all the parts before we get started. So, uh, we'll start over here with my big old NZXT Phantom 410. I was gonna go with the Guardian, but, um, it has fan controls and other things that I'd rather have, and it has an SD case, or SD holders inside of it, so I, I already kind of bought the... And we got the Turbo Duo, Radeon R9280, AMD FX processor here, yeah. Oh, and my little thermal fluid on top. I've got a motherboard, the Asus M5A99FX Pro. My PSU is an ARC750 80 plus bronze. Rosewill, Corsair Hydro cooling system for my um, CPU. Because I felt with uh, the intense gaming I'll be doing, I'm probably going to need something a little bit better than the stock. Here we got my SSD, 500 gigabytes, Samsung, 850 Evo. We got my Rip Jaws, 2 8 gigabytes for my RAM. RNX N600 PSE is a P PCIe. Uh, I don't know, just a simple for wireless connection. Satechi Edge wireless gaming mouse. Now this thing looks really awesome. Yeah, this thing is gonna be nice. And then here we have my, um, uh, I think it's an AGP or ARP uh, Amp Tech blue, cool blue LED lit gaming keyboard. <laughs> Alright guys, here's the finished product, my uh, custom built computer. So there are a couple parts that I'll put right here and here that, uh, well not really parts, one of them is, that I got that I didn't mention and that would be this little optical drive here and just Windows 8.1. It's really nice that I got Windows 8.1. I got it literally delivered to me the exact day that um, they upgraded uh, Windows 10. So I literally upgraded straight to 10 right away. Anyway, let's pop this bad boy off. If I can. Here is the inside. Got my little hard drive slash SSD compartment there built in all for the optical drives motherboard hydro cooling for the CPU video card PSU well anyway yeah. alright so look at them LEDs it's really only on that one fan so far as I know but it kind of creates a cute little glow down here and also there's a little fan speed changer that also changes the LED up and down for performance or quietness I'm probably gonna go for performance more cuz uh, for now it doesn't really matter well anyway guys that's pretty much it if uh, I'll, I'll probably I'm not gonna leave stats in the description but I will probably leave the parts and where you can find them and how much they costed total cost of the build and um, if you guys have any questions or comments you can let me know uh, other than that it took me probably six hours to build but then I had this stupid confusion for another, what, uh, another, like, three hours, because I, I was just being stupid. I had my, um, CMOS reset stuck in the reset position. Um, CMOS was on for me. It was on reset. 
And that's, uh, ooh, let me get my flashlight back. CMOS is that little, uh, well, you can see the little blue two dot, well, two piece connector there. There's actually three little prongs down there, but uh, it needs to be on the first and second so that it's in regular mode. Otherwise, you have it in um, you have it in reset, and when you start up your computer, the little red CPU light will flash on and then go out, and then you will have no video display, but everything will look completely like it's working. Um, that's unimportant for some people. You probably could have stopped a while ago. But yeah, anything else you guys have to add? Um, anything you want to comment or ask, let me know. Otherwise, that's it.